Now, this is not far from the area of the CZU Lightning Complex fire that destroyed hundreds of homes in the San Mateo and Santa Cruz County mountains, and that was back in 2020. So now we're talking four years later. San Jose State wildfire researchers are studying the impact of that fire. Our Mary Lee gives us a look at the lessons learned so far. Here at San Jose State, wildfire researchers are doing incredible work to keep our forests safe from extreme wildfires. I'm taking you on a tour of the San Vicente Redwoods four years after the CZU Lightning Complex fire to show you what researchers are learning from that devastating fire. San Vicente Redwoods is a... Um pretty epic place. Nadia Haney is the lead forester here at the San Vicente Redwoods. She remembers all too well when the CZU Lightning Complex fire tore through her beloved forest. In some places where there was high severity fire, I think it will be a while before a forest comes back. There's no uh, other event that uh, would have informed what's transpiring now. Nadia said just six months before the CZU Lightning Complex fire, they did a prescribed burn here that ultimately protected that part of the forest. And so it kind of skipped over uh, the prescribed burn footprint and the crown fire kept raging through the area that had not had a prescribed burn. The contrast is striking. You can see where the forest was untouched by wildfire and then just a few feet away to see the blackened, burnt trees. This forest and the community that I live in went through the CZU fires and it was very scary. Um, working here though gives me some hope because we are you know, doing work to reduce fuels, um, to keep this Warrenella Road as a fuel break. There are, there are actions being taken to, you know, if, if a fire comes through here, that we can hopefully hold it. Julia Gudinski so is San Jose State's right Wildfire here. Interdisciplinary Research Center Associate Director. The Warrenella fuel break here in the San Vicente Redwoods is her living science experiment. So this is one of the treatments along Warrenella Road here where they have come in and removed um, the dead trees and left a residue of stuff less than uh, about 12 inches in diameter. San Jose and, State researchers uh, are looking at the impact of a devastating wildfire on a forest, how it affects the soils and the forest regrowth and recovery, with the goal to see how all of this impacts the forest's health and resilience. We have been suppressing fire for quite a long time. And because of that, fuels have built up in our forests. And you combine that with um, increased fire weather severity, and you get much more extreme fires than these ecosystems are used to. And so they do more damage than they historically did. Julia believes in her team's research, calling it inspiring work. When she walks in this forest, she says she's in awe of it and wants to do all she can to protect it and prevent a monstrous CZU lightning complex fire from ever happening here again. Mary tells us this is a roughly $2 million project and it is funded by the state.